guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on simple easy five minute powder foundation routine that I do this is what I do when I am trying to get out the door and I have to be really quick and I'm going somewhere and I just want to make sure I look put together so this is great for people who are working who are going to school and they don't have a lot of time in the morning it's really great for moms too because I feel like we want to look put together too but we don't want to have to waste like two hours in the morning just getting ready so I feel like this is a great routine to do I do use powder foundation in this tutorial and I really want to show you guys you can get a full coverage with powder as well you don't always need to use a liquid foundation and especially if you're going to work or you're going to school you don't really want all that so you just want to look put together I get it I know um, when school starts for these kids I'm like in a rush and everybody has to be ready and like out the door in like 10 to 15 minutes so I like to be put together as well but I know it's a lot of times when I can't can't do like a full-on glam on my face that's just unrealistic and want to get somewhere really quick you just want to make sure you're put together and you're presentable and you still look good this suggestion was because of my snapchat family and I just want to say thank you guys for always watching me you guys know who you are I really truly truly love you guys so much so if you're not following me on snapchat please make sure you do and if you have any video suggestions I'm always open and I want to hear them so guys if you want to see how I got this five-minute power a foundation look just keep watching So the first thing you want to make sure you're doing is you want to make sure you moisturize your face you want to make sure you're toning or cleansing your face and doing your proper like skincare before you do any powder foundation because you don't want to accentuate any dry patches or anything like that so that's a number one for you guys to do just make sure you're always moisturizing and then I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced Hangover RX as my primer I'm using this one because I feel like it's really hydrating it has coconut water so it's definitely going to be hydrating to the skin and I really feel like I need that when I'm using powder foundation. Also, I did do my brows first because I always do my brows even if it's a five minute makeup routine because I always feel like my brows must be done. I always have to do my brows. Um, it's just something that I like to do, but you guys don't necessarily have to do like this full on brow thing. You guys could just put powder, you guys can use a really quick pencil, anything like that that's just going to fill them in and just make them look a little bit nicer. So the next thing I go in with is my Benefit Girl Meets Pearl. This is their liquid pearl for the face um, I don't use this often but when I do use it it's only for like times like this because I know I'm not gonna be doing a lot of foundation on my face but I want my face to look really nice and glowy and the skin basically is the main focus in this so you just want it to look really nice and glowy and you don't want it to look dull and sometimes powder could tend to make it look like that so this is really nice um, I feel like it just gives me a nice glow from within look So before we do the powder, I want to make sure I conceal anything. So I'm using my MAC NC30 and this is the Studio Finish Concealer. Um, this really does a nice job at concealing any red spots. And I'm only going to do it like around my nose area, um, maybe around my chin, anywhere where I feel like I have um, blemishes or maybe some scarring. That's the only place that I am going to do it. We'll be putting more concealer on underneath the eyes later, but this is just um, a little bit more cover. Next, I'm going to go in with this powder foundation. This is from MAC. It's the Studio Fix NC35. It's their powder foundation. Um, I'm using NC35 just because I'm a little tan right now. Normally, I would use NC25, but I find that this is my favorite powder foundation. I've tried a few, and this one definitely, hands down, is my favorite. So I'm taking this really dense brush like this because I feel like it works best with applying powder foundation. Um, this brush, I'm not sure. What is it? Oh, it's from Diva Beauty. I think you can get it like on Amazon, and this is their angled buffer brush. And what I like to do is just swirl it in the compact and just buff it right onto the skin So next I'm going to go in 
with my Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer. This is definitely an oldie, but a goodie. I did stop using this, but I want to go back to it today just because it conceals so well and it's from the drugstore, so it's really not that expensive. So what I like to do is I take this and I do a little bit underneath my eye. I'm not doing the whole concealer thing like I normally do. I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my eye and just buff it out. And then I'm also going to hit my lids as well. And now I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend that in. So I'm not really going to bake my under eyes, but I will set it. And I like to take this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Setting Powder. It's a translucent setting powder. You can definitely put this all over your face, but for right now, I just want to make sure I'm just setting my under eyes and that concealer. I want to bring a little bit more color back to my face so I will be going in with this bare minerals and this is their invisible bronze powder bronzer this one is in tan um, I like using this when I'm not doing any contouring or anything like that I'm just bronzing up my face really nicely because a lot of times when you're putting on like foundations or powder you lose the dimension in your skin so I still want to bronze I still want to put a little bit of blush so that's what I'm going to be doing today but for the bronzer I am going to take a fluffy brush because like I said I'm not really doing a heavy contour all this is going to be doing is just bronzing up the skin So I'm going to go in with one of my favorites from the drugstore. This is Milani's Luminoso Blush. This is definitely an oldie as well, but this is gorgeous on the skin. Again, I'm taking that Bare Minerals bronzer and what I like to do is just hit my eyes really quickly like this is so quick it's gonna be like one minute not even um, but I just like to give myself a little dimension where the eyes are concerned so I'll just put this right into the crease um, and automatically it just looks really pretty and just soft and subtle so it's nothing crazy or anything like that but it just gives you like a nice soft look so one thing I always do is I always make sure I do highlight. That is so important for me. I am going to go in with Ofra's Rodeo Drive. This has been one of my favorites. I'm sure you guys have seen this on my channel probably a thousand times, but I really love it. <music> in with this L'Oreal telescopic mascara um, I am putting falsies on you guys do not have to do that at all I just put them on because I have no lashes like my lashes are so itty bitty but you definitely don't have to do this I, it definitely will take you longer if you want to do lashes in the morning but that's your personal preference for me I don't really have too much lashes going on so what I'll do is I'll pop on something like really simple what I like to do is I'll pop on like some Ardell Demi Wisp or the double ups because I feel like those are natural looking and they don't like overpower everything so if you're looking for like more natural lashes the Ardell Wispies or the double ups expensive and they last a couple of uses so if you guys want something that's natural I definitely will suggest using something like those so all I did was put my lashes on and like I said before you guys don't necessarily have to do lashes I just personally love them but now you can leave your lips like this like I am wearing right now the uh, Lancome Juicy Tube and I'm not sure of the shade of this one this is pretty old as you guys can see from the top here but I like these because they're not sticky so I have that on my lips now but if you guys want to go in with a lipstick what I will do is go in with MAC Strip Down Liner because it's a little bit more natural and then I'll go in with a liquid lipstick because I feel like it's gonna last all day so then what I'll do is I'll go in with this wet and wild liquid lipstick this is their liquid lipstick the katsu collection and this one is in rebel rose um, I will say if you are going to school or work and you know you're going to be really busy um, don't use a gloss because I feel like gloss will definitely come off quicker use a liquid lipstick that's not too drying that way it'll last all day on you and you don't have to reapply <music> Did 
go back in with the lip liner and I just filled it in just a little bit more because I felt like it was really pink um, so yeah I just wanted to bring a little bit more brown mauve to it so I just filled it in with the lip liner and then the last thing you want to do is you're going to hit your face with some spray any spritz um, you could use this you could use the Too Faced one you can use the pixie one anyone that you have in your collection that's just going to help remember we used a lot of powders on the face so you just want to settle everything into the skin and you don't want it to look too powdery so I'm just gonna take this and just spray my face evenly so this is the finished look guys and it literally took me five minutes to do this whole look like I said before you do not need to do the false lashes I just do it because that's my personal preference you guys could just use a little bit of mascara and be on your way that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below you guys know where that subscribe button is that little red button right there and like I said before I do videos Monday Wednesday and Fridays so do not forget this Monday I will have a new video for you guys have a great weekend guys and I will see you on Monday bye guys